Kalen Ponga has made himself unavailable for the Kangaroos. Breaking news this afternoon in the Daily Telegraph. This one's a little bit of a strange one. I haven't got my head around it. Can you guys explain how it took place? Oh, it certainly came as a surprise, not only in the announcement, but certainly internally at the Newcastle Knights as well, guys. I can tell you that uh, Andre Ponga, Kalen's father and acting manager, met with Phil Gardner, the Newcastle Knights CEO, uh, this afternoon. And from that meeting, it emerged that Kalen wanted to stand down from selection process of being picked for Australia, of which Phil Gardner, the CEO, relayed to the football department and said to words of the effect of, we need to put a media statement out in relation to Ponga wanting out of test selection or Kalen Will himself. Now, one, you find that a surprising process. Secondly, the big one here, guys, is it sits out of, outside the jurisdiction and expectation of a professional rugby league player within the NRL rules. You aren't allowed to deem yourself ineligible for test selection. It, it, it sits outside to the parameters. The NRL can account, you ask permission, though? You can ask for permission, and that process didn't Okay, it didn't take ensue. place. Yeah. And so the NRL now are looking through the, the process, mm, looking yeah. at the rules, seeing what parameters they can put around this, because to say they're disappointed mm. that one of the star players in the game has decided to pull himself out of consideration for the green and gold mm. is an understatement. So the NRL didn't know. It was Malawi, Mal Meninga? My understanding is he didn't know. Mm. Now, Mal's yet to confirm that publicly, but again, all, all, all um, conversations with Mal have been quite short and sharp mm. and with, with, with journalists, and the belief is that Mal wasn't aware. So which, which one, which one do, go do, down is, well, So you, you, you mentioned amongst the journalists. Does that mean that you guys get the impression that Mal's not happy about it? Absolutely. No. Mm. I, I, and, and nor should he be. Mm. Like, again, what Mal Meninga has done to turn this green and gold jumper around six, seven years ago mm. to elevate the status and the class of pulling on the green and gold has been enormous, yeah. of which, okay, of which so is why he still retains the position now. If I ask now. a Newcastle Knights fan's question, say, well, he's only played 16 games for us this year. We need him fully fit for next year. Mm. What do you think of that? The, again. As, Australia comes first? Uh, unless you're injured, unless you're having surgery? Uh, 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 absolutely. What do you think of it? I think, I think unless you're injured, you've got to go play. But last year, I recall, did he do it at State of Origin as well? He did. He did. Mm. He did. Yeah, he so, did. like, he's pulled out. He, he had but concussions. He, he missed yeah, the like, first he had one concussions and he, and he come back and there was a bit of talk between yeah. him. And, and he might have only had three games or two yeah. games. So then I understood that one. I pulled himself out of the whole series. What? Well, he's done it again. The major sticking point here, guys, is the process or the yeah. lack of process yeah. that's been followed. So a phone call to Mel. Phone call to the, the NRL. To phone call to Mel to say, listen, How this is what I'm thinking. This? Yeah. And, and, and would you be OK with this? Yeah. And this would be a far different story. Yeah. But the fact that a media statement came out to the complete surprise to the NRL, to Mal Meninga, is what's going to Can they create a bigger story here. Well, it's unprofessional. And, uh, going forward. It's unprofessional. There's, what, what there's you... ways to do things, Braith. Like, when I initially heard that Ponga had pulled out and I looked at his, his statement and, and the reason that he pulled out, that he wanted to put his focus on on Newcastle, you kind of go, well, that's fair enough. Mm. But when you start pulling apart the, the parts to this process that have been neglected, yeah. and if it turns out that he hadn't made the call to Mel, because as I understand it, the Knights and Kalen had been informed that he would be in the squad. Mm. So if it turns out that he didn't put in a call to the NRL and he didn't put in a call, especially to Mel Meninga, that's just an absolute show of disrespect and a slap in the face. And, and the NRL have to take a stand on this because in the past, in eras gone by, it was always up to the representative doctor to make the decision if a, yeah, if a player was, was available or not. That seems to have, you know, disappeared in, in years where clubs have taken on more professionalism than that. He hasn't said he's injured, has he? There's no, 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 there's no, there's no talk of injury, but, but I think there is an opportunity for other clubs, if, if this is left without... You know, Pendle the response. NRL taking a tough stance to open a loophole for other clubs in the future mm. to say, well, we don't want our players playing for Tonga or, or Samoa or Australia or New Zealand in the end of the season test. Potentially, that could 
infiltrate yeah. into state of origin. I think the NRL... I know you, you disagree. We, we spoke about this out the back, but I, I almost think it's almost like... Um, it's a show of disrespect to the NRL. We, we, what, you'd almost slap him with a fine. Or suspension. Like for bringing the game into disrepute and you wouldn't let him play Origin next year. Like if you don't want to play this, well, Origin is a selection trial for, mm. for the Australian team, so next year... You, you wouldn't let him. Oh, you severe. can't do that to Queensland. Is it severe, though? Is <laughs> it severe? Because Queensland. you have to do something strong so no, other I clubs don't follow totally. the league. I get your point. Yeah. I think it's this whole process, what, what Callan and, and his dad, it's just unnecessary, right? Like, there's a way to go about things. Again, I thought it was commendable when I heard he wasn't going to play and he was going to focus on the Knights. And only a few weeks ago, I said he was the best player in the world after yeah. that yeah. semi-final. Mm. Uh, you know, but... There is due process for everything in our game, and there is respect to those above us and to each other. Uh, yep. That's the big thing. Respect. So, you know, Mate, it could just, have been easily handled. But if you handle it like this, and it's happened a few times, right, with Kalen's camp, if you just handle things the right way, yep. you, it gets you a long way. Mm. People understand. You know, other he, who knows what he's going through? We don't know, right? Yep. It yeah. could be anything. We mm. don't really know. But if you ring the coach, yeah. you ring the NRL, mm. and you tell them those reasons, they will say, OK, Mal would go, no worries. And like, they could have overlooked him. And then we would have went, oh, that's a bit strange, but they've got Dylan, Dylan Edwards, they've got cool. Tedesco, they could have pulled in Reese Walsh or whatever. Ricky, like, they could have pulled in another fullback. Ricky yeah. did that years ago with Jamie Lyon. Jamie Lyon didn't want mm. to play rep football anymore, and he, and, he, and he took time out to ring Ricky, and I spoke to Ricky after that, and I remember him saying, you know, like, I admire his honesty. Yeah. Mm. You know, because of the way he went about yeah. it, Just the coach accepted it. Oh, the, the mere fact that the Newcastle Knights uh, football department were surprised by this speaks to the breakdown in the process. Where Crawls was coming from as far as standing down from state of origin, it has, look, it has merit on the basis that in the NRL contract system, if you choose, if you opt, mm. ask to stand down from rep football, you are then asked to stand down from an NRL match that you are next due to play in the season. That's talking about in yeah, season. Yeah. Given that this is the Pacific Championships out of season, there's no games for Ponga to sit out mm. for for Newcastle, which is why if, if the international game, I believe, it's at, is at its highest point, yeah. it's because the star players are playing. It, just on that, so all, everything aside, Mal Meninga's worked really hard to put pride in the, in the Australian jersey, right? And... I know I would never give up an Australian jersey, that's for sure, but you've captained Australia. You've yeah. played a lot of tests for Australia, yeah. Gordy. Do you, you know, what, what do you think, but when a player just knocks a, a jersey back like this? Is it... Well, that's what you dreamt of doing. You know what I mean? So knocking it back, see, so we, look, we've got to know the reasons, but if he's not injured, I believe you go and you represent your country. I think it's, it's a slap in the face for all those guys that have done it before you, and that's your... You know what I mean? Like, then you caught a test play. Like, you know, there's a kangaroo reunion on Monday, the day after the grand final, when we're all going to go there and the test side gets named. And that's a great day. Mm -hmm. Like, you sit there and they go around to all the tables. That's, as a kid, I got up to watch the kangaroo tours. Yeah. And that's the jersey that you want to wear. Again, we don't know the reasoning for it. All we've been told by his camp, or Newcastle, yeah. right, is that he wanted to focus on Newcastle. We don't know. We, there's no mention of injury, no, no mention of no. anything going on in the field. Purely about yeah. he wants to win a premiership for Newcastle, and, and, which you can get. You yeah. know, you understand that. It's the process that's we do. been, the lack of respect. Will Mal pick, pick him again after this? I think, I, I, I think he'd be questioning, absolutely questioning it. The, the, the priorities, again, what Mal Meninga has done to create um, incre an incredible belief... And, and, and desire and, and culture for players to want to pull on the green and goal. Australia got beaten by 30 points in yeah. their last game. That's right. Right. And so he wants a response, doesn't he? He wants players, he wants players to, to want to wear that green and goal to make a, have a response. Mm. And there will be. D Dylan Edwards, if he's fit. James Tedesco. They're yeah. pretty two handy options. Yeah. Who, who plays out of them two? Look, I think I, prior to this, I would have said Ponga was the guy. Um, Dylan Edwards was outstanding for New South Wales this year. Um, he's got two more games potentially to prove himself. Teddy was wonderful last weekend. I think because Dylan Edwards stood out for New South Wales in a winning series this year, he's in the box seat. He, he, uh, yeah, I would agree. He does have some injury concerns, Dylan. We know that he's, he just hasn't been 100% through this final series. Um, and if he decides due to injury uh, to withdraw from selection, it'll, uh, we'll see. I think Tedesco. Whoever takes the wins the grand final. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever <laughs> wins the GF? Well, 
just imagine well, if the Roosters go on a run. Thousands there too. Yeah, maybe just imagine if the Roosters go on a run and Teddy yeah. Yeah. plays. You, it'd be hard to leave him out, wouldn't it? 